It's absolutely critical. And homeowner, we're going now from a ownership society to a rental society. And when you do that, you go from being citizens to being subjects for all the reasons that you said it was two years ago. The average cost of a house in this country was $215,000. Today, it's $400,000. And the interest rates have gone from 3% to 7.5%. And there's no but kids who are, you know, our kids' age. Well, we have we have six kids between 20 and 30. And none of them is thinking that they're ever going to be in a house. And they're not going to be. And one of the reasons that it has you know, spiked so much higher than the inflation that's affecting everything else is because you've got these giant corporations like BlackRock, State Street, Vanguard, Fidelity, Blackstone that are buying up all the houses. Last, last year, I saw this data point actually this morning, 26% of home purchases were by investment houses. And they're though you know our kids are having to compete against the the biggest corporations in the world for the cost of money, and they can't do it. And uh, and if you don't own a house, you know they're, they're, if you own a house, you care about as you said, you care about your community, you care about the schools, you care about the police, you care about the transportation, you care about the appearance of it, your, your neighbors, you care about all these things. But more importantly, you have an entree. In the American capitalist system, because you can borrow money, you own equity. So you can go get a second mortgage and you can build a yoga studio or a bowling alley or a saloon or a bar or, you know, or a bookstore or a sporting goods store. And and it and that creates this ferment that, you know, created the American middle class, as you pointed out, after World War II. People could get into houses without financing them. They were buying houses for cash, you know, and, and particularly with the, the VA, you know, the uh, VA bills that that, you know, made it so that uh, veterans had easy access to cash for houses. And then the highway system that made, that had, you know, ch- made cheap, cheap housing all in the outside of the cities and many other programs our leaders understood that it was critical. Thomas Jefferson said that American democracy is rooted in the control of the landscapes by tens of thousands of independent freeholders, each with a stake in our system of democracy, each with a stake in our economic system. This is how we we made the American middle class, beginning in the 1950s, the greatest economic engine in the history of mankind. Now we're going the opposite direction. And our kids, not only they, they can't buy a house, they're not going to be able to participate in capitalism. And that is going to be really bad for our country. So one of the things, you know, I've said that I'm going to do as president is I'm going to get everybody in this generation into a home. Anybody who wants one, who's who's willing to work hard, lay by the rules. You're going to be able to finance a home. You're going to be able to, uh, you know, to do it. I mean, the, the central promise of the American dream when you and I were growing up was if you worked hard, you played by the rules, you could finance a home, you could take a summer vacation, you could raise a family, you could put something aside for your retirement, all on one job. There's yeah. nobody in this country that believes that that promise applies to them in this generation of kids. And it's, you know, they've, they're losing faith in our country. They're losing hope for their own futures. And that is a disaster. There, you know, there was a poll, Adam, in 2013 where where Americans under 35 were asked, are you proud of the United States of America? 85% said yes. The same poll taken four months ago, 18% said yes. So, the, you know, the, we've lost a whole generation of kids who no longer believe in the United States of America, and they no longer um, have hope for their own futures. And, and that happened in the administrations of the last two presidents, a Republican and a Democrat, uh, you know, the parties are not are not, you know, they're, they're responsible for what's happening. And and we need to we need to change uh, direction. 